Well, hi, I'm Steph, a student that does IGCSEs at Walsey Hall, and I'm here to show you my steps to preparing and completing an assignment. Step 1. Canvas. This is the app or website where you're going to get all the information and material you need to learn for your subjects. It is your ultimate learning source. On Canvas, you can do your modules and quizzes, turn your assignments in, receive your assignment marks, and message your tutors for any help. Canvas will be your best friend. Step 2. Modules. Every subject contains more or less nine modules. Every module consists of topics where it gives you tasks you need to complete. Most module work will require you to read some pages, do various questions, and jot down some notes. For my first topic in Economics Module 5, I'll need to work through pages 124 to 125 in my course book. Then I'll need to write out some key points. And then I'm going to have to check out this website they have linked. I usually like to note down any new definitions that I've just learned into my notebook. And I also write down any extra information that I need to remember. Step 3. Quizzes. At the end of each module, there is a quiz that awaits to be completed. This quiz is there to test your knowledge from what you've just learned. These quizzes are usually multiple choice, which makes it quite easy and super fun. It is definitely a great way to revise for your upcoming assignment, as you can retake them as many times as you want. Step 4. Revision and Preparation. Before doing the assignments, it is important to revise and review everything you have just learned one last time. You can even do the quiz once more to make sure that you are fully prepared to do the assignment. Right before I start my assignment, I like to organize my desk space. I put out my assignment, my notebook, and a pen. And if I need to use my computer, I put that out as well. Step 5. Assignments. Now it's time to start. Every assignment has an instruction page where it will instruct you to either complete it under exam conditions or if it is an open book assignment. It will also show the recommended time limit, however you don't need to follow this as it is just an assignment. On my economics assignment 5 instructions, it says that I need to write online paper using a black pen. It also further says to upload your work on Canvas. However, it doesn't say anything about working in exam conditions, so this is an open book assignment. After I finish my assignment, I scan it on an app called Cam Scanner and then send it directly on Canvas. Step 6. Marks and feedback. Usually, marks and feedback from your tutor will be given back to you within a week. The feedback you get from your tutor is very helpful as it tells you what you've done correctly and what you must improve on. With the feedback, you also get the specimen answers sheet, which gives all the answers to the assignment. And to make the most of my feedback, I do the questions that I've gotten wrong once more. This is just to make sure that I've understood the module and won't do the same mistake twice. Hello and welcome to this Wolsey Hall Oxford Homeschooling Information Webinar. We have families joining us from all around the globe today, so a big welcome to you all. I'm Rachel Hearn, I'm from the Marketing Department here at Wolsey Hall. Just to let you know, we will be recording the webinar and we'll send out links to the recording to you all a few days after the event. The emails will come via a Zoom email rather than a Wolsey Hall email address. So the format for today will be a presentation followed by a question and answer session. You will find the question and answer session where you can type your questions at the bottom of your screens. We would, however, recommend that you wait until after the presentation before adding questions to the Q&A area, as we expect many of your questions will be covered in the presentation. Please note, we will not be answering any questions that are specific to an individual child today. For these types of questions, please submit an inquiry form to our website and our admissions team will be delighted to help you. We'll be putting up the website address for the inquiry form at the end of the presentation section. I'm joined by a number of colleagues today who will be answering your questions in the question and answer area and also in the discussions. But I'd like to introduce you to Ruth Young, who is the head of secondary and will be giving our presentation. So without further ado, I will hand over to Ruth, who will begin the presentation on Wolsey Hall, Oxford. Thanks very much, Rachel. Um, it's wonderful. Just let me please add my welcome to Rachel. It's wonderful to have so many of you joining us today to find out about the homeschooling courses that Wolsey Hall Oxford can offer to secondary age students. Um, just to give you um, a bit of an overview of the presentation today that I will be giving to you, I'm going to give you a little bit of background about Wolsey Hall and then talk to you about how our courses work, although you've had a slight insight into that with the video from Steph at the beginning, which I do hope you enjoy. 
enjoyed. Um, and then move on to talk about the courses, the subjects that your child could study with Wolsey Hall Oxford, and then the additional support services that Wolsey Hall also offer, just to give you a real overview of what to expect as a homeschooling family considering Wolsey Hall as their homeschooling provider of choice. So to begin, to talk a little bit about uh, Wolsey Hall Oxford, and our kind of history. Um, Wolsey Hall Oxford was actually founded a, a long time ago, back in 1894. We're celebrating our 130th year anniversary. Um, and we are very proud to have that legacy, to have that history in terms of providing distance learning courses to students and mature students across the globe. Now, obviously, back in 1894, um, it did look a little bit different to the way that it looks today in that we were using the Penny Post service um, as we weren't online at that point for obvious reasons. But we did make the shift to online learning um, over 15 years ago now. So we are very well set up for supporting students to complete their studies in an online learning environment. Um, we at Wolsey Hall Oxford, we offer courses all the way from lower primary up to A level. Whilst the presentation today is centered um, on the secondary phase of Wolsey Hall, it's worth knowing that we do have courses starting from around three and a half years old, four years old, we're getting ready for reception in year one, um, all the way up to age 18. And we're very, we're very proud to be a global company. Um, we have homeschooling students who study Wolsey Hall courses in over 125 countries across the world now. And with that in mind, we offer a wide variety of courses in terms of subject choice and the methods by which we, we teach our homeschooling students in a remote environment um, and allow them to develop those autonomous and independent learning skills that they will need for their future studies. So you can be assured as a homeschooling parent that you are, you are working with a company who is aware of different locations around the globe, that we are used to supporting families no matter where they are located. Um, as you may be able to see on the slide, um, there is a picture of Nelson Mandela. We're, we're very proud that he is a renowned past student of ours. Um, he completed some distance learning courses with us years ago, um, but it is worth saying that for us at Wolsey Hall, the, the individual child is of utmost importance to us. And that is something that we really do endeavour to get across to prospective families and families that work with us. Your child is seen as an individual when you join Wolsey Hall Oxford. Um, I'll talk a little bit more in the presentation about how that works on a practical level. But all of the guidance you receive at the admission stage, the ongoing support that you will receive as you are, as your child is working through their homeschooling courses, relates to them as an individual rather than a cohort as in a mainstream school that occurs or a class and we are so proud of all of our alumni at Wolsey Hall not just Nelson Mandela um, and we we have students that go on to do many wonderful things be that in employment in their careers in higher education and we at Wolsey Hall are proud of each individual student um, so to talk about now why, um, to talk a little bit about the accreditations that Wolsey Hall holds, um, we are very happy to be a registered Cambridge International School, which means that we are able to offer education programmes from Cambridge Assessment International. Now, you may have heard of Cambridge, um, they are one of the largest exam boards. Um, in the world. Um, they have, there is a number of Cambridge schools across the globe. I think at the last count it was over 10,000 um, and millions of candidates do sit Cambridge external qualifications every single year at IGCSE, AS and A level levels. Um, this means as being being a Cambridge International School, we are we are offering you a structured curriculum. We are offering you courses that will lead to recognised on a global level qualifications. Um, a little bit of new uh, a new update for parents joining us today is that we are we have recently um, been successful in becoming a an EdXL Pearson online 
provider as well, an online centre, which means that we are able to offer Pearson edXL qualifications alongside our Cambridge qualifications, which again is a recognised exam board on a global level and gives us the capacity at Wolsey Hall to support students in a variety of different subject choices. Um, to, to If you're thinking about joining Wolsey Hall from mainstream, you're maybe wondering how the curriculum your child has studied to date will link in with Wolsey Hall when we're talking about Cambridge curriculum, if your child hasn't been in the Cambridge school. Um, our courses are a blend of Cambridge and English national curriculum. So they are designed to ensure that they are accessible for students coming from different educational backgrounds. And I'll talk a little bit more about how we do that at the admissions point and further down the line as well. So some of the reasons why you, you might choose Wolsey Hall as your provider of choice. Um, as I mentioned, we really do put the child at the heart of all our decision making. Um, Wolsey Hall is quite unique in terms of its offering to homeschooling families. When you enroll with Wolsey Hall, we're looking at the child's individual background what they have studied before, their passions, their interests, and also talking to you as a family about what courses and levels suits your child. Um, we offer real flexibility in terms of placement. We we look at we look at stage rather than age, if that makes sense. So whilst an 11 year old in mainstream education may be entering year seven and they would be studying all of their subjects at year seven level at Wolsey Hall, you have the option to look differently at how your child is studying and the placement of their levels. This might mean that your child has studied um, the year six equivalent primary curriculum and is, is year seven ready, but actually they're excelling in a particular subject. So you feel that independently they've already covered the year seven material and maybe actually the year eight course would suit them better. This is possible with Wolsey Hall. We're able via um, our admission stage, we have a different methods for assessing students readiness to start those courses. Because the key thing for us is we want students enrolling on Wolsey Hall courses to enjoy their courses and for them to be at an appropriate level. Yes, there needs to be challenge, but we don't want to be challenging them too much so that they become demotivated. And we also don't want the courses equally being too easy. We don't want them feeling bored because the content isn't stimulating enough in terms of the level that they're working at. So we have ready tests, we have um, the ability for our homeschooling parents to look at the samples of the courses, to check the programmes of study, to see what aligns with their child and how their individual child is working in a particular subject area. So to give a specific example, we've had students over the years who are aged 11 studying year seven courses in the majority of their subjects, but they are bilingual. And therefore they're actually working at IGCSE level in perhaps French or German or Spanish. That means with Wolsey Hall, they could enrol on one of those courses at that language course at that level alongside their year seven courses in order to keep their language skills going to improve and to challenge them. Um, conversely, as well, if your child has had difficulties in a particular subject area at school, you might feel that they would benefit from some additional work in a lower level. Again, that is possible. So a student might be studying a year six course alongside year seven courses to provide a really, really firm foundation. Um, I hope that gives a little bit of insight into the flexibility that Wolsey Hall can offer in terms of the placement and the level at which a child can be studying. Um, with Wolsey Hall as well, we, we really do feel, sorry, could we just go back to that previous slide? <laughs> I haven't quite finished, thank you. Um, we do also um, want to communicate to you that we have a very strong partnership with our families. I hope that is coming across in terms of our approach with the individual. We feel that homeschooling is such an important choice for a family and we want to be there for you to support you to advise as required on your child's homeschooling journey. So there are some key people within Wolsey Hall who I'll talk you through later in the presentation who will support you on your homeschooling journey and make sure that there is that strong partnership between yourselves as the parents, your child as the person studying with us and the Wolsey Hall team, because that is the way that we know that children can make the best possible progress.
Um, we we really are committed as well to ha um, holistic education. We're not just about the academic courses. So we have a secure password protected community area where students can engage in lots of different lovely clubs such as debate club, book club, chess club, and also meet other homeschoolers from around the globe um, and share their experiences. We have regular competitions for them to engage with. And you may even soon see some of the latest competition winners on our YouTube channel as to why they enjoy um, homeschooling with Wolsey Hall. Um, there is at the moment an overwhelming amount of noise in the marketplace of online learning, flexible learning at home. With Wolsey Hall, you as a homeschooling family know that you will be receiving a structured, rigorous curriculum that is benchmarked and linked to external qualifications in the secondary phase. Therefore, you can be assured that your child is studying the correct curriculum at the correct level, at the correct pace, meaning that their, the outcomes that your child is working towards are guided and supported at every step of the way. I'm ready for the next slide now. Um, so to move on to the just the secondary journey overall, just to talk you through that in case you're unfamiliar with the UK system and the terminology that we use. Um, we start off in Wolsey Hall in lower secondary. This typically is for students aged between 11 to 14, and in a mainstream school would be years seven, eight, and nine. Um, in lower secondary, students tend to study a wide range of subjects leading on from their primary education. And this is, this is a lovely time for students to really explore the subjects that they enjoy, develop those passions, develop those key competences and skills that they will need when they move into the exam years and they start to specialise a little bit more. Um, so in lower secondary, in a mainstream school, students typically study anywhere between 12 or 13 subjects. One, again, another unique thing with Wolsey Hall is there is no set number of subjects that you as a homeschooling family need to study. Um, we would always advise if you are using Wolsey Hall as your main homeschooling provider for lower secondary, a minimum of five subjects, including the core subjects, English, maths and science. But the idea is with lower secondary is to create that foundation by which it will open doors later on for your child in terms of their exam choices at GCSE, IGCSE and A level. But it is possible with Wolsey Hall to study a single subject if you your child is in mainstream school and you want to supplement their education with a subject that isn't offered. So we do have students who attend mainstream school and also then study perhaps Latin and the Roman world with us in lower secondary because they have a, a real interest in that subject area. So that's lower secondary. Each year typically lasts an academic year, nine months. Our courses in lower secondary do have a course term of 12 months to allow for that flexibility for you as a homeschooling family to make the course fit your, your plans, what you're doing, your work, your family life and so on. After lower secondary, students move into the first externally examined phase of Wolsey Hall, the GCSE and IGCSE phase. Students in this phase, typically in a mainstream school, are aged between 14 and 16, and it's equivalent to years 10 and 11. So our IGCSE courses, which incidentally stands for International General Certificate of Secondary Education, are designed to be studied over two academic years. So our course is available to you as a family for a maximum of two years or your chosen exam date. Um, I'll talk more about external exams later, but in this phase, the students would study perhaps a slightly smaller, more specialized number of subjects. In a school, students study anywhere between eight and 11 GCSEs or IGCSEs. Um, and a minimum number that we would recommend would be five, again, following on that advice from lower secondary of having core subjects of English, maths and science within those five. If your child is looking to apply um, to very competitive degree courses later on, highly academic or just highly competitive, we would advise looking at the higher number. So more like 10, 11 GCSEs for that type of course. Um, that really is the point where students start to specialise. So we've got lower secondary being a broad curriculum. IGCSE students get to choose more specific subjects that suit their lower secondary progress and attainment in order 
to have the options open to them when they move into the final phase of Wolsey Hall, which is A-levels. Now, A-levels can be known in mainstream as sixth form college, can just be college, um, and is typically for students aged between 16 to 18. And again, this encompasses two academic years of study, um, leading to externally recognised qualifications of A-levels. In this phase of Wolsey Hall, students will typically study three to four subjects. So really it's like a pyramid. Their number of subjects decreases as they go up the up Wolsey Hall. Um, and these subjects are studied in a, a great amount of depth. There's a huge amount of rigor and challenge. And it is these that will form the basis of any university applications or indeed to be included on uh, CVs, curriculum vitae when applying for jobs. At the end of the A-level phase, that is the point where the Wolsey Hall homeschooling journey draws to a close and we then are able to see our students come alumni and go into either higher education or employment. So I hope that gives you a bit of an overview of the journey of a secondary child at Wolsey Hall. In terms of um, support for families that we offer, um, I mentioned before the really strong partnership that we are very proud of at Wolsey Hall. There are some key elements to that partnership alongside you as the family and your child as the, as the person studying our courses. All of our tutors um, that support our academic courses are UK qualified tutors. They provide you in secondary with really constructive detailed feedback as you probably saw in the video from Steph in terms of having an academic support on hand to help you as your child is progressing through their homeschooling courses. They advise your child on what they have done well, the next steps in learning on all of those formative developmental assignments. There are also opportunities for them to meet with you and your child at key points during the course, dependent on the level. And they are always available via Canvas, which is the learning platform you may have seen in that first video, to answer any questions that you have about learning as you progress through the course outside of the virtual meetings. Now, in secondary, you're likely to be studying a range of subjects and you would have a tutor, a subject specialist tutor for each of those courses. So it may be that if you're studying eight IGCSEs with Wolsey Hall, you have eight different tutors. But then this leads on to the next key person on the Wolsey Hall team who is there to support you with your homeschooling. And that is your student progress manager. And I think the picture on the screen probably describes it really well. They are the umbrella that sits over you and your tutors to keep you up to date with your progress. They are akin to a tutor in a school in terms of supporting you with pastoral elements outside of the academics that your tu academic tutors support you with. Your student progress manager or SPM, as we like to call them at Wolsey Hall, will help you create a timetable to make sure that you are making appropriate progress through your courses, as that is a really key thing for us here. And also make sure that they are checking in with you to see how things are progressing. They monitor very closely the progress that your child is making and give you key feedback and advice as to how you are getting on and how your child is getting on with those courses. So the student progress manager and the tutors at Wolsey Hall are some really important people who you as a homeschooling family develop long lasting relationships with over the duration of your Wolsey Hall courses. Um, and they really do help foster a very positive remote learning environment for you and your child. So in terms of how our courses work, we've got a little, little overview here. Um, as I've mentioned, all of our courses are hosted in our Canvas learning platform. So your child as a homeschooler will have their own access to the Canvas learning platform. And you as a parent will be granted access to your child's learning platform as well. It's called an observer. It means that you are able to see the communication between your child and their tutor about their academic progress. You're also able to contact their tutor as well. And you're able to see the work that they're completing, the assignments that they're completing and the feedback that they receive to again, promote that partnership with Wolsey Hall so we can work most effectively together. 
Um, when you first enroll with Wolsey Hall, our, our very friendly and supportive admission team, admissions team are there to help you with any questions that you've got regarding level of courses, number of courses, previous curriculum experience. And we term that the enrollment time. When you have decided that you want to enroll with Wolsey Hall, you'll be asked to choose a date and we call it your access date. This is when your child will be added to Canvas, our learning platform, and have access to their academic courses alongside other courses such as orientation courses, an exams information course in secondary, um, and also other parts um, of Canvas that will be useful to them such as community. Sorry, we've just got a little pop up on the screen. Would we be able to just... Thank you, that's wonderful. Um, so that is the access date and you are able to talk to the admissions officer about when is best for you to enroll. After your access date has passed, we have then an orientation period. This allows you to meet your student progress manager, your SPM, to meet all of your tutors so that when you actually, when your child is ready to sit and start studying, they understand the framework within which they are working. So all of this is designed to give you a really smooth and positive start to your homeschooling journey with Wolsey Hall. Our secondary courses at Wolsey Hall are designed, sorry, if we could just flip back again. Our secondary courses at Wolsey Hall are designed to be read by your child. So starting in lower secondary, the courses are written to your child because at that point they are starting to take a little bit of ownership over their studies. And obviously, as they progress through the secondary phase of Wolsey Hall, they become more independent and autonomous, developing critical skill, uh, thinking skills, which are so vital when moving on to employment or higher education later. Um, as I mentioned before, our lower secondary courses typically take nine months or so to complete. IGCSE and A-level courses take two years to complete. The learning within our Wolsey Hall courses is a blend of online and offline materials. We subscribe to the view that students need a variety when they're learning, and that is how they learn best. So our courses are not designed for your child to be sitting in front of the screen all day. There are many activities in, in courses where they are able to come away from the computer, because as wonderful as online learning is, we just feel that it's a good opportunity for students sometimes to step away and complete other activities that don't involve a screen. Um, and they, there's practical activities within the courses as well. So for example, on, on our science courses in lower secondary, there's experiments that can be safely carried out at home by your child with the support of a trusted adult to enable them to really get that experience of carrying out a science experiment. On that note, I know some parents are a little bit worried about specific materials they might need for science experiments. Our courses are designed for you as homeschoolers. Therefore, every effort has been made to make sure that the, resource, the resources related to experiments are accessible no matter where you're located. And if they are not, you have your academic tutor who can advise because often there are alternatives that can be provided to you to allow your child to still carry out that practical work. Obviously, art and design courses have a large a large emphasis on practical work as well. So as you can see, our courses do have a variety there. Um, they Our courses are quite unique in the sense that we don't at Wolsey Hall have any online lessons. There, is, there are none to attend. So you don't have a fixed timetable for yourselves as a homeschooling family that says your child must be in a lesson from nine till 10 on a Monday, which could potentially conflict with other things within your family life. Instead, our courses are supported via videos and a plethora of different activities and resources, including interactive self-marking resources as well, meaning that you as a family have the flexibility to, to have a timetable and create a timetable that suits your individual circumstances. Our courses also include a number of subscriptions with them. Some of them are on the screen now, and these are all additional resources that come as part and parcel of your Wolsey Hall courses that enable, your, enable you to tailor your child's homeschooling experience and for them to practice key aspects of the content they've covered or the skills that they've covered within their courses and improve. These are often interactive, 
games to really make it enjoyable for them. And they're often self-marking as well, so they can really see the progress that you are making. The location where you are, as I've said before, it doesn't matter in terms of these courses, they are able to move with you. So if you are a family who is working away and you are likely to relocate, these courses relocate with you, they're portable. Um, they are, you're able to have this flexible timetable and also your child can work at the pace that suits them. They are not going to be constrained by having to move at the pace of a full class because your child is an individual on these courses with their own individual tutors and their own individual SPM. This means that you're able to speed up a child can speed up their learning if they are finding a particular topic really interesting and want to spend more time on it. Or equally, if they're finding something challenging, they can slow down the pace of their um, home learning to allow them to spend more time on a topic area to really master it. And this is really, again, another, another area which sets Wolsey Hall apart from timetabled online providers. Your child is able to progress at their own rate. And this is a real benefit because it means that they can feel confident in their learning. They will never feel like they've had to rush on when they weren't sure. They will have been able to revisit, review and revise the content and make sure they're confident and feel happy before they continue on. So to look now just at the subject choices that we have at Wolsey Hall in the different phases. I've talked a bit about the number of subjects in these phases, and I'm sorry, there is a lot of information coming at you today, um, but I know if you've got questions after the Q&A, our admissions team would be very happy to hear from you. So I do hope this is helpful. Um, the lower secondary courses that we have on offer, you can see some are coloured in blue. These are what I referred to before as core courses, English, maths and science. We offer two different English courses at Wolsey Hall, English and English as a second language. English um, is, English as a second language is designed for non-native speakers of English who still have high functionality in English but wish to develop it further. We have different pathways associated with English and English as a second language, which our admissions team will be happy to talk to you about, to, because some students want to progress down an English as a second language route all the way through their Wolsey Hall studies, and this is possible with the IGCSEs we offer. Others want to improve their English um, speaking and written skills in lower secondary with a view to studying English first language in IGCSE. And again, that flexibility is there. Um, we then have different subjects that your child can pick from in lower secondary. So we have a number of humanities subjects, languages subjects and more practical subjects. Um, one of our newest subjects in lower secondary is digital literacy. Um, and this is a fantastic subject for students who, are, who have an interest in the digital world, but perhaps do not want to study computing, which involves coding and programming. Or equally, it can be studied alongside computing to give a different element to it. Um, just to just to be clear, all of our languages courses, German, French and Spanish are ab initio. This means that the students do not need to have studied the language in the primary uh, phase of their studies. But if they have, that is helpful. And you may find that they're able to move at a quicker pace through the first parts of the course. Um, we then have some practical subjects such as art and music and some more discursive, wide reaching subjects like global perspectives. So we have a range of courses on offer in lower secondary to allow your child to create that broad foundation by which they can discover where they excel and thinking about what courses they might want to study at IGCSE. Just before we move on to that phase, um, it's worth saying that the lower secondary courses do lead on to IG. So therefore, if, if you think at this point, your child might want to study history at IGCSE level, it's a really good idea that they study it in lower secondary because it is a prerequisite. There's an expectation that they would have that background knowledge in order to move on to a higher level of study. We do offer both history and international history in lower secondary. They both lead to IGCSE. They've just got a slightly different focus. Our history lower secondary course is primarily European and UK history. Our international history course 
is more related to civilizations around the world in the first two years, in year seven and year eight. So it depends on your child's interest, but that means they could pick a history course that really suits them and potentially their location. Moving on from lower secondary, we go into the first examination year, the IGCSE phase. You can see that the core courses have somewhat multiplied. We now have many more blue boxes. This is to ensure that our homeschoolers are able to pick an appropriate level of core subject course, the English maths and science courses that suits their abilities. And so we continue with our English language, which is English first language and English as a second language. And we add in English literature. Now, we would always recommend that students studying English literature are studying the English first language alongside it because of the level of language required to respond to the examinations that will be based on poetry and novels, etc. We offer two maths courses at Wolsey Hall, maths and additional maths. The core maths course is the first one, maths. We offer this at two levels, both extended and core. This maths course is the foundation is the is the the maths course that all higher education and sixth form colleges will be looking for additional maths is for really keen mathematicians who are really passionate about the subject area and want to learn about pure mathematics and we would recommend that students take the maths either at extended level which allows them to access grades up to grade nine or a star or core level if they're thinking that they will need the maths IGCSE qualification, but no, they don't want to study it or a science at A level, because the core course will allow them to attain grades up to a grade C. Um, we then have a range of science courses on offer at IGCSE, um, again, allowing students to pick their, their, their preferences and to make it suit their other options, because we don't want students to be overloaded either in terms of subject number. So we offer separate sciences of biology, chemistry and physics. Each of these lead to one IGCSE. And we would recommend that if you're considering single sciences, students would take a minimum of two. They can take three, um, but we would always say two because that would be the expectation of the majority of universities that there is a two GCSE science qualification. Alongside this, we also offer two different science qualifications, coordinated sciences. And this is a course where students study biology, chemistry and physics, just in a little bit less detail in terms of content than the single sciences. And it leads to two IGCSEs at the end of it. So they take exams about all of the three sciences, but instead of a single subject GCSE at the end of it for biology, chemistry, physics, they come out with two. Coordinated sciences and the single sciences are perfect for students who are science focused or who want to have a broad science base in case they want to study it at A level. So all of our single sciences and coordinated science courses at extended level have all, will keep the doors open for future A level science studies. We then offer combined sciences, which is a course again, which covers biology, chemistry and physics and leads to one IGCSE. So the course content is, is reduced again from the coordinated sciences. This is a perfect qualification for students who are looking for an IGCSE in science, but already know that they are not looking um, to study maths or sciences higher up and simply do require one IGCSE for their future study plans. Um, again, our admissions team will be happy to talk you through those different options on a call. We then have what in a school would be termed option subjects. Um, within mainstream schools, often option blocks are used and students have to pick between and choose between subjects because they can't study them because of the timetable constraints. You don't have that with Wolsey Hall. You can pick and choose from those subjects and then the timetable that you that is designed for you as a family in terms of your assignment schedule allows you to study them in no matter what combination. And um, there's a range of subjects on offer there, again, building from lower secondary in terms of the history, the geography, the German, the French and the Spanish and the computer science, because those would all be subjects where we would expect the student to have studied or have knowledge of that from the lower secondary phase, as well as some new subjects like business, economics, environmental management, and psychology. Um, 
students are then able to build a portfolio that suits them, that is unique. Um, just to mention the Latin course is ab initio. So if your child has studied lower, uh, lower secondary Latin in the Roman world, it's likely they'll be able to progress through the first module or two of the Latin IGCSE a little bit quicker, but essentially they don't need to have studied Latin in lower secondary to take that course. After IGCSE, we then move on to A-levels. This is the point that I mentioned earlier where students specialise even more, so going down to three or four subjects. Um, you can probably see the similarities between the courses that are on offer. We have business, so following on from business studies at GCSE. Um, when it comes to AS and A-level, we do have um, entry requirements for specific subjects. As a, as a base rule, we would expect students looking at A-level courses to have an absolute minimum of a C in English and Maths at IGCSE. That would give them access to a limited range of our AS and A-level courses. For other courses in the entry requirements, there are full details on our website, and you will see that dependent on the course, the entry requirement changes. This is down to the experience that we have had of student success on these courses, because at the heart of everything we do is making sure students will be successful. And A-level study is, as I said earlier, really in-depth, it is very challenging. And in the environment that they're working in as a homeschooling student, they need to have a certain level of competence and knowledge from IGCSE to have success on these courses. Um, one thing just to note on this slide is obviously we've got three different ones in blue. These, are, these subjects are coloured in blue because we offer two versions of the qualification. We have a UK biology, chemistry, physics and an international biology, chemistry, physics A level. The UK is designed for students who reside in the UK and the international is for students who reside outside of the UK. They are both from Pearson at Excel. They are both viewed equally in the eyes of universities and higher education. We've had students in the past apply to Cambridge with a UK biology and an international biology and both receive um, offers from the university. So they are viewed at the same level. The difference is how they are assessed. The UK A-level has a practical endorsement element, um, which students will be prepared for via theory on the A-level courses, and they take that at an exam centre in the UK, whereas the international A-level does not have a practical endorsement element. Instead, the practical skills are assessed via theory on one of the papers that they take at A-level. So I hope that, that uh, explains the difference between those courses for you. Um, we've talked, I've talked a few times um, during this presentation about external exams, and that's what I'm going to move on to now. Um, for Wolsey Hall students, they take their external exams as private candidates in an exam centre of your choice. Um, all of our courses at IGCSE, AS and A level prepare your child for those external exams. We have two exams officers at Wolsey Hall who are there to support homeschooling families find centres local to them. Um, obviously, Wolsey Hall can do everything it can do to find to help you find exam centres. But I, would, I don't want to be anything less than transparent. Dependent on your location, it may be that you need to travel for examinations. Uh, if you're located very remotely, it may be that you will need to travel for external examinations for your child to take them as a private candidate because your child will register at a centre and then go there on the day set by either Cambridge or Pearson Edexcel to physically sit in an exam room and take their examinations. So it's really important that parents are aware of this. Um, although saying that there are multiple exam centres um, in hubs around the UK, and we have a lot of relationships with um, exam centres around the world as well. When you join Wolsey Hall, you're not on your own. You're added, and mentioned it earlier, to an exams information course. And this has a live spreadsheet with all of the exam centres that we have contacts with that we know accept private candidates um, around the world. And all of this is there for you as a homeschooling family to access so you can make sure that there is an examination centre local to you. When your child has taken their exams at a, uh, at a centre, their papers would be sent off to the examination board for marking, and then they will be returned, um, well, the results will be returned to the examination centre or directly to yourself. And it is these results that are your externally assessed results. Um, as I mentioned before, Cambridge and Pearson at Excel, they're recognised across the world. They're accepted by universities and employers worldwide. 
So just moving on to the end of the presentation, I'll just talk a little bit about the additional services that are an offer um, for families at Wolsey Hall. Um, further details of all the fees related to the additional services that I'm just going to talk about are available on the website if you are interested. Um, at Wolsey Hall, we we are a very inclusive environment. We make sure that our courses are accessible to students, but we do recognize that certain students may require different support. And it is with this in mind that we have these different services. We have a learning support service who is able um, to provide consultations and mentoring in terms of study skills and guidance to families whose children may have specific learning needs and come up and work with you to establish strategies to empower your child to access their Wolsey Hall courses. They may also be able to signpost you to external support if that is something that is of interest as well. We also offer a very comprehensive careers and university advice service. Um, this can start, it's not just about careers and university at the end, it can start earlier on. So having guidance about the course choices, if you have specific questions, because your child is aiming for a specific university course, we have a very experienced university and careers advisor with Wolsey Hall, who's able to support you and your child when looking at UK or international applications to university for degree apprenticeships and also careers. There are different services available, so you can tailor it to fit your needs as a family. We also offer a reference service, um, and this can incorporate official transcripts from Wolsey Hall that can be used for applications. So you as a family might feel very confident in supporting your child through the university application process, and you simply need the relevant documentation to provide to the university. That is something that we can help with. Um, we also are committed to students' well-being at Wolsey Hall, and we also have a well-being service um, involving mentoring that can help students who are encountering any difficulties in their studies to help them establish strategies to overcome, um, to overcome that. And again, perhaps signal to and signpost to families additional options for support for well-being and mental health. Um, so just to finish off the presentation today, um, just to talk a little about how we stay connected. I mentioned in the first, uh, very early on in the presentation for the students, the community that we have of our students. So we have our community website with our clubs, with our competitions, but we also in secondary have a student forum. This is a monitored password protected forum um, and students are able there to engage on topics of interest to them outside. Sometimes it's linked to academics, but often it can be outside. They might want to discuss, you know, their favorite TV program, a book that they've read, their interests outside of the academic sphere. And it's a lovely, supportive, positive environment for homeschoolers to engage with each other and find out a little bit about what it's like being a homeschooler in different locations around the world. Like I said, very clearly monitored and supported by Wolsey Hall. So, you know, as a parent that it's a safe space for them. Um, we also have a virtual library from which students can borrow books regularly to, again, improve those literacy skills, but also just for pure enjoyment. And also we have updates on our website about alumni. In terms of parents, your student progress manager and your tutors will be in touch with you. Um, your student progress manager will be in touch regularly and keep you updated with everything that's going on, as well as our lovely marketing team at Wolsey Hall to keep you updated in terms of the competitions and challenges that are taking place. And we have a very active parent community on Facebook, which is available to parents who enroll with Wolsey Hall via invite. So I think at this point, I'm passing back to Rachel. Thank you so much, Ruth, for your presentation. We will now move on to the question and answer session. So please feel free now to ask any questions you have by typing them into the Q&A area, Q &A area, which you can find at the bottom of your screens. Please do let us know the age and level of your child so that we can tailor our responses. We will endeavour to answer as many questions as possible in the time we have available. But if you still have any questions, after the event, please do send in an inquiry to our website. OK, so um, let's start with some questions now, Ruth. Um, can you tell us how do you enable the speaking part of the modern foreign language courses? 
Oh, absolutely. Um, at, so at lower secondary, um, speaking is built in. So we mentioned in the presentation about assignments, you saw it in Steph's video. Assignments come in various forms at Wolsey Hall. Um, if your child is enrolling on a modern foreign language course, they will have as part of their assignments, a certain percentage of them will be spoken assignments. So the speaking of the assignment will be um, with either an MP3 recording or a conversation with their tutor. Um, and they're able to have that communication with their tutor and guidance. And that's in the lower secondary phase. Um, we also do have in lower secondary MFL clubs that run on a regular basis so that students can go along with one of our Wolsey Hall tutors and practice some of their spoken skills within that environment. At IGCSE, we have, as part of the course, we have speaking embedded throughout the course, as well as speaking assignments, so students can really benchmark their progress. There are opportunities throughout the course to meet with their tutor and have in-depth speaking practice with their tutor as part and parcel of the course to develop the skills and the techniques when it comes to IGCSE languages, there's a lot of technique involved with preparing for that external exam in terms of being able to answer unprepared questions and presentations. So that is all built into our course support model. Fantastic. Thank you. And um, can you tell us how do you assess the level of the child? At, at the enrollment, Yes. <clears throat> That, that's a combination of different elements, really. Um, when you submit an inquiry to Wolsey Hall, the admissions team, were, there will be certain documents that we ask for. If you have school reports, that is a really good way for us to look at the curriculum that your child has studied. I, I'll make it very clear. We're not looking at school reports and saying yes or no. That's not how we work. Um, we're not looking at that. We're looking at what the curriculum is that your child has studied and what levels they've achieved so we can assess where that would fit into our Wolsey Hall courses. We also have a suite of what we term ready tests. I don't, they're not really tests. They are, they are guidance for you to see if your child is ready to start a certain level. And we have these in place for a number of subjects in lower secondary and IGCSE for your child to complete independently to see what the advice would be. So they effectively complete an online interactive, well, they complete an online quiz style uh, test and then at the end of it, we're able to give you feedback on what their answers have shown us as to where the best fit would be. It's all about finding the best fit. So I hope that I hope that helps. Thank There's you very much. Thank you. Fabulous related to that. Obviously. Thank you. Another question we've had is, um, can you add more courses at a later date? So can you start with a small number of Absolutely. courses and then add further ones? That is absolutely fine. Yes. Um, as I mentioned in the presentation, when you enroll, you are able to choose your access date. Something I didn't mention, so this question is very pertinent, thank you, is there is no specific time to enroll with Wal Wolsey Hall. You can enroll whenever you want, whenever suits you as a family. So not a September start or a January start. And it does mean then there is flexibility about adding additional courses. So you might decide that you're, you want your child to start off with English, maths and science in year seven in lower secondary. And then a little bit further down the line, add in year seven art or music. That is absolutely fine. You would simply have two different access dates. So the first course is would be your first set of three. And then your second, depending when you've added them, would be your second set. Um, and again, our admissions team can talk to you about that, as can your student progress manager in terms of managing that if you do start courses at the same time to ensure that when you move on to IGCSEs that you're targeting a, an appropriate external exam date because those are set by exam boards. Okay. Um, just um, moving on from exams, are exam fees included in our school fees or are they additional? The external examination fees are payable to the local exam centre, so they are in addition to the course fees. OK, thank you very much. Um, and also, what is the difference between English language and English as a second language, IGCSE? Um, so English first language is looking very much at the different forms of English language. So, for example, writing to persuade, writing to advise, it's it's at a very high level in terms of analysis of English language, as well as creative elements. English as a second language also incorporates elements of this. 
but it's at a different level. So English as a second language, I would term it as potentially more functional language acquisition practice. It's more akin to studying French, German and Spanish in those terms, because you're learning to communicate in a language which you are a non-native speaker of. Obviously, it's at a different level to the French, German, Spanish, because it's not a foreign language. It's in, it's an English second language qualification, but it's building skills in listening, speaking, reading and writing. The English as a second language course is designed to ensure that students are confident and competent users of English language. To, to think about English second language and English first language, when you look at kind of pathway through to A level, that's quite key for parents to be aware of. If someone has studied English second language at IGCSE, they're likely when moving on to A-level to be considering maths and science-based qualifications. It doesn't prepare students in the same way that English first language does for discursive subjects at A-level, such as English language or English literature, where we do have a prerequisite of English first language. Thank you, Ruth. Um, another question, are there compulsory subjects? So are the subjects that you um, have in blue, the core subjects, are they compulsory? Are any co subjects compulsory? Okay, okay. Um, simple answer, no, no subjects are compulsory. We would recommend core subjects, whether that's with us or externally to Walsio. We have families who work with us and also support independently at home certain subjects. The core subjects, our recommendations from Wolsey Hall that these are studied because they will be expected by external colleges, sick form colleges, universities and employers further down the line. Um, there's no compulsion to take them with Wolsey Hall, though. Um, I hope that's clear. Thank you. And um, is there a trial period for our courses? Well, all of our sample courses are available on the website. Um, so parents are able to look at sample courses to see um, what suits them best. Obviously, we have a very detailed and exhaustive admissions procedure to make sure that students are placed correctly. But we do have um, it's covered within our terms and conditions. If parents are still concerned, they can obviously have a look at those and see what terms would apply if you were to enroll on a course and the level not suit you. We have different ways in which we manage that. So obviously, ideally, we want students to be working at the right level. But if it transpires that they're not, we have the facility to move them between levels. Okay. Um, a trial period as such, we don't offer trials, no. And um, can I ask, when when are the exam sittings? Okay. Um, it depends on the exam board, Rachel. It's a good question. Um, so for Cambridge, there are uh, three sittings. So we have the summer sitting, May, June. This is tends to be the most popular, the most populous. Probably more students take exams in that sitting than in the other. We also have an October, November sitting for Cambridge. And then there is also a March sitting for Cambridge for students in India or Romania. Now, to complicate that, not all subjects are available in all sittings. May, June, yes, primarily. Um, but when you enrol with Wolsey Hall, the exams information course and our admissions officers are able to tell you what exams and subjects are available when and where, because it will also link to your administrative zone where you're located. So that's Cambridge. EdXL have um, summer, October, November and January for the international qualifications. So there's quite a lot. So the, the key thing is when you're enrolling your child with Wolsey Hall for an external exam is talking to the admissions team and they will be able to provide you really pragmatic guidance on what timeline is suitable, what exam date is a realistic exam date, because what we what we want to guard against, and I think all probably homeschooling families would agree with this, is rushing a child through a course and not to, to meet an external exam deadline. Um, and then they, they don't perform. They haven't got the confidence. They're worried. And that's not what we want our students to be going to the exams. We want them to go in confidence. So our admissions team are really well placed to help with discussions surrounding exam dates. Brilliant. Thank you, Ruth. Now, we are beginning to run out of time now. So I have one final question, which I'm going to ask Amber from our admissions team to answer. So the question is, if I want to find out more about Wolsey Hall and have more questions answered, how can I get in contact with you? Hi, Rachel. Thank you. 
Um, so if you would like to find out more about Wolsey Hall um, and how to apply, um, you can go, go to our website and click on the contact us button, which you can see on the screen there. Um, and then you can click on more information to enroll and you'll ask to uh, you'll be asked to fill out some short information about um, your child in terms of the level you're interested in. Um, and a member of our admissions team will then get back to you with the appropriate information. So we'll provide some course samples, we'll provide a book list, um, and we'll also invite you to an admissions call if you want to talk through your child's specific needs in a little bit more detail as well. Um, so do visit our website. Um, and we can also look at uh, ready tests and reports. I think Ruth mentioned them earlier as well. So if you're not quite sure on the level yet, you can just put a guess um, into the level there and we'll kind of figure it out as we go in the admissions call with you too. So we've got all of the tools that we need to help you. So yeah, please do fill out the form. The link is on the screen there for you now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Amber. And thank you so much to Ruth as well. And we'd also like to thank you for joining us today. We hope you found the session useful and that it's given you a good understanding of homeschooling with Wolsey Hall. But if you do have any further questions, then as Amber said, please do go to our website and submit an inquiry form and our admissions team will be delighted to help you. So thank you again and enjoy the rest of your day.